Okay, folks, today's the day I'm going to pull these potatoes out. Uh, I got a massive attack from hornworms. I'll show a picture of that in a, in a second. They destroyed this in about eight hours, and I pulled off about, I don't know, ten huge hornworms. And there's really nothing you can do about it but uh, just peel them off and either kill them or chuck them in the woods. <clears throat> Um, the potatoes in here have grown really, really well until that happened. Um, they're basically in this party hop. I don't know, my wife probably got them at the dollar store. Uh, the kids used them when they were littler to, you know, do uh, three-legged races at parties. Uh, they weren't in use anymore, so I figured, yeah, let's make a potato sack out of them and see what happens. So I already pulled one out. It was pretty successful. I did videotape that one. Uh, but I'm going to videotape these two. Uh, they were in here early. I know it's only mid-July right now. But I had them in here probably March. So they've had ample time to grow. Um, they did start to rot, rot off a little bit. So I figured instead of them just sitting in there probably dying out anyway, I'll just get that soil out of there and I'll use that soil for something else. It's pretty much all mushroom soil in there. Uh, with some garden soil from from my compost bin um, and like I said I, I think I put three or four potatoes seed potatoes cut seed potatoes I split them in these bags and this one pulled out about I don't know ten or so nice sized ones so we're gonna pull these out I believe they're Yukon gold I don't remember what I put in there seems so long ago but uh, let me cut over to that and see what we get More evidence of hornworms is right here. If you see little pellets like that, that is hornworm poop. And if you see a lot of it, you have a lot of hornworms. In fact, I just see another one right now. Here we go. They're so hard to see sometimes. And there he is. Focus on that game, boy. These little bastards will destroy your entire garden in no time. In fact, there's another little, some kind of bug right there. I don't know what that's called, but I've seen a lot of them. They don't do too much harm, but probably not good. Like I said, everything was fine until these hornworms showed up. Time to kill them. Well, I'll just throw them in the woods. Okay, folks, I'm just going to dump these in here and see what we got. There's a nice mess it left in the greenhouse. Here we go. Okay, I dumped these side by side, and the one on the left, you can see right away. And we got some potatoes in here. See how lucky we get. There's one, two, not that big, but enough to eat. Okay. Vines in here. Looks like I may have been a little dry. Maybe I'm watering it off. I don't know. There's another good one. Oh, yeah, here we go. Come on, give me some. Yeah, they're kind of small. Right. I would have left them in there much longer, but those hornworms just destroyed everything. Might be little, but they're still tasty. Right. Okay, here's the verdict. One bag produced no potatoes, and the other bag produced these. I cannot explain why one did better than the other. I shouldn't even say better. One was horrible, and one was mildly successful. Of course, the first bag that I pulled, I didn't videotape, and that was the best one. And that was a different kind of potato. They were uh, some kind of red potato forget the name top of my head so somewhat successful I'll probably try it again next year um, hopefully the hornworms will stay away and these can get bigger next year um, so I would call this experiment with early potatoes in the greenhouse 
this year about, I don't know, a C plus I'll give it. And hopefully next year I'll do a few more bags and we'll get better success. So there's the verdict. Um, let me quick peel into the greenhouse to show what's kind of going on. Uh, tomatoes are doing, two tomatoes I have in here are doing okay. String beans are still growing, but I don't know, they're not fruiting for some reason. And the cucumbers have been insanely good. Uh, I'm getting great cucumber production out of these three plants, and there's many more to come. I did start some Dutch buckets or uh, deep water culture tomatoes in here. Uh, they look stringy because they were in pots for way too long, and I finally put them in here. Under the orange bucket is just an air stone, which is putting air into those buckets. And uh, the nutrients are in there. Well, they're doing fine. Uh, hornworm was on them, but I got it off pretty quick. You can see over there, it ate all that off. Uh, so as long as I keep the hornworms away, these tomatoes should do just fine. Again, this is my first year with this, and I'm just experimenting in the garden here. Or in the greenhouse, sorry. Uh, the garden in the back has all these same plants. So I'll have plenty of fruit and vegetables this year. Anyway, I'll see you next time. I'm going to do the rock wall video next. Uh, that should be a good one. Have a good day.